Zoom, screen sharing, and especially when you put it together with Keynote, it can sometimes go wrong for you. So let's take a look at how we can get some of these things right. So first up, let's hit that share screen button and you'll see these various apps. Now I've got a couple of apps open. If you've got a number of apps, you'll see them all here. Now you'll see Keynote here and you'll think to yourself, well, I want to present with Keynote. So let's use Keynote from the app. However, instead of going this way, I would always recommend to use the desktop. Why? It's because when you use the Keynote app instead of the desktop, for some reason, Keynote doesn't work well. If you try to play the presentation, uh, it can crash. You'll find that it doesn't go ahead. You'll lose uh, the ability to click forward and backwards and things can really go wrong. Now, I don't know why this is. It's been like this for a long time, uh, but all I can tell you is that I've had problems. I've had clients have had problems. I've heard this from all over the place. So first step, use the desktop. Next step, use this button down in the corner here. Now, this is the way to share video and audio. If you want to share video and audio, then make sure you've got this button shared. This means it shares it from the computer and not from your speakers. That will mean that the sound and the vision will be in time. And what Zoom does is it creates a kind of a latency of about one second. Uh, so that the video and the audio, which normally transfer at different speeds and therefore have a mismatch, will be fairly well matched up when you see th this at the other end. So when the people who are receiving your presentation, they will see uh, audio and video in sync. Now, of course, this relies on internet uh, speeds that are pretty good. But if you've got decent speed, a reasonable speed at both ends, then this will work well. The other thing to look out for is this one, this button, because this button will mean that you don't have all of these different people's faces on the screen when you present. Now, if you have your slides uh, on screen and you can't see the right hand side of them because you've got all people's faces on there, it's going to be really difficult for you to make that presentation. If you click on this button, it takes out all of those faces. Now, there's one more thing which you might want to know about Keynote and I'm going to share that with you right now. So a couple of things about sharing the screen. Here you see it all looks a bit messy. That's because I've still got the editing tools open. So my recommendation is before you go to the screen share, make sure that the editing tools are unclicked. You just have to click like this and like this for it to work. Then when you come to present, you will see that at the moment my mouse is showing. And when I go up on the screen uh, to the top, I get the menu and I can choose these things. Now, this isn't always set. I used to have my preferences to having the mouse not showing. That setting is here. So, for example, if you have it here, it only shows when there's movies. This is what happens. So you will go here and I'm moving the mouse now, but you can't see anything. Then you will go to the top and you can get that menu to come down. And if you're lucky, something will highlight, but it's really tricky. And you can quite often, I'm even hunting around for it right now and trying to get the menu to show up, it doesn't work. And I've had that real time. I don't want you to have that problem real time. So don't forget, go to the preferences and hit this button, show pointer when using the mouse or the keypad. So this way, when you play, you'll have the mouse and you'll be able to access the various tools like chat or the participant management and so on. And also running polls will be much easier. So don't forget to have the mouse. But of course, while you're presenting, make sure that the mouse is off screen and not sitting in the middle, which can be really distracting. Okay, I hope these tools help you with making your great presentations in Zoom. And I've got plenty more online presenting tools to share with you. I create an online course. You'll be able to find that link later on. All the best with your online presenting.